Let me show you a plugin that's going to help you build your website faster. It's called Combo Blocks, and it's going to add a bunch of blocks that you can start using to build your websites right away. So let's go check it out. The idea of Combo Blocks is to expand the library of blocks that you have available to build your pages and posts. Now, right now you can grab this for a lifetime deal, which is only $49 and it gets you access to five domains for that lifetime deal. Now, if you need more domains, there's plan two and three, which I would recommend that you grab plan one or jump to plan three where it has unlimited domains. So do check it out, test it out for yourself and decide if it's a right fit for you or not. There's a 60 day money back guarantee. So in case you don't like it, just go ahead and refund it. All right. Now, combo blocks is going to add a, a bunch of blocks to your WordPress site. So one of the things I would recommend that once you get started using it, decide what you're going to use and not use. So you can enable and disable these blocks because there's just a bunch of them available. And these ones are coming soon. So as of this video, so they will be available in the future. Now, once you install it and you're ready, you can go ahead and use these in posts or pages. Now, before we get started with how to use combo blocks, let me show you the sponsor for this video, which is Hostinger. Right now, they are running a Black Friday sale, so they have a super low price. So if you scroll down here, you're going to be able to find really low prices for their turtle scene plan. And let me show you how to get an additional discount with my coupon code. So let's just say, for example, we use this business plan, which is $2.95 a month. I'll go ahead and choose a plan. And the first thing that hosting is going to ask me is how many months do I want to pay in advance? I recommend 48 months because you lock in the lowest price, lowest renewal price, and you'll be good to go for 48 months. Now, this is the current price. But if you add my coupon code, which is SAS master and apply it, the price is going to drop even lower to $127 with 44 cents. Now that's for 48 months. So trust me, that's a really low price. So if you plan to grab a hosting plan, use my coupon code, right? So let's jump back to combo blocks. So in this case, let me go ahead and jump into the page and I'll add a brand new page for testing purposes. And how to get access to the blocks is you can either click on this section, go to browse all, or we can click on this blue plus button on your Gutenberg WordPress system. And you can go ahead and scroll down here and you're going to find the blocks. Now there's blocks for posts, there's blocks for tools, there's blocks for WooCommerce, and there's just a bunch of blocks available that you can start using right now. Now, one of the first blocks that I want to show you is the post grid. So that means that if you have several available posts, you can go ahead and display these on your post or pages. Now, in this case, I'm, an, I'm in a page, but if I was in a post, I would definitely recommend adding one of these to the footer. So you give them access to other type of content that you have there, right? So thinking that this is a post, for example, I can choose one of the post grids available here to let them know that there's more posts available so they can check them out. And you have options here. In this case, I mean, I'll go ahead and select this one. I do not have any posts available right now for this demo site, but you'll view them just like you did on the template that you saw right now, right? You have several options available. So if I click on the element, I will get the options on the right. So there's the options for the wrapper. I can also use CSS. So if I really want to customize this, I do have the option to do that. There's the styles that I can change. For example, the overflow display, the object fit, etc. CSS library. Let's go ahead and wait for that to load. There's these available styles that I can bring in inside of here just by clicking on it. There's the let me go ahead and close this the featured image where I can change it from here. There's the lazy load if I want to enable that or disable it. The light box options the block variations. So if I want to change the block, I can do so from here. And if I want to add another block, I can do so from here too. So here we go. For example, I can insert this and I'll add it to the bottom or I can apply the style or I can replace it. So if I like this variation more than what I've just added previously, I can just go to replace it with this option. So all those styles are all available here. I can load more if I like. And those are the options for, for example, for this, all right? There's a visibility that I can use with groups so I can show this to specific users. So maybe I want to show this displayed only if they are logged in, not logged in, they use a role. And there's just a bunch of these options available to display depending on certain criteria. All right. So I really love that option that they have available there. If I want to get rid of this, I'll just go ahead and delete it for now. And let me show you, for example, another block that you can start using right now. For example, there's a form maker that you can start using. So let's bring it in here. And again, we have the templates that we can use or we can start from scratch by clicking on skip. In this case, I'll use one of the ones that's available now. So I'll use a uh, common submit. For example, it's going to bring in these elements. And if I click on any of these elements, I'll again, I'll have the options on the right. There's the options for the wrapper, the label. For example, right now, the label says uh, your name and optional. Let's just say I want to remove optional and boom, it updates automatically. 
and I can change this if I like. And I can remove the label if I like. I can go into style and change the style for the particular label and do all of that. The input for the options, there's all these options available. For example, the input type, is it going to be text? Is it going to be an email, a checkbox, etc.? And this gives you an idea that you can bring another element and decide how you want to use it or replace one of the elements that's available from the template to something else. So in this case, if I wanted to change it to a telephone and not for your name, I'll go ahead and select that. Change the label. I won't use my name. I'll use telephone for this and just replace the labels with what it's designated for. I can also choose a default value for this. If I wanted to already have a value and then they can replace it in case they want to change it. The placeholder, the readily disabled, the required. So if I want to make this required, they cannot skip it. I can make this disabled object map. I haven't used that, but it has option option there. Include with email body. I can change the icon or add an icon, etc. from here. The error wrap, what's it going to say? The block variations, if I want to replace, and again, just like you saw with the post grid, I can go ahead and insert another one bottom. So if I want to add that there, and again, just go through the options to have it the way I want, all right? Let's go back to this one. Block variations, here we go. Again, I can go ahead and apply the style or replace it. In case I like one of the styles here, I can go ahead and apply it, but keep what I have already. Or if I brought it a, a, a new label and I want to apply the style from the previous one, I can do so by doing it that way, which is faster than trying to tweak everything manually. All right. Then you have your visibility options like you saw with the post grid and the advanced options if you want to use CSS to do some really high customization. So a lot of options available there for the form maker. And again, that is included in the lifetime deal that you can grab. Now there's a bunch of of available blocks here for example with the post and if i was a right right in the post there's for example i could do my own structure for this post title post accept read more i could create templates from this to use it again and i don't have to do this every single time post meta post comments etc there's the combo block tools for example i want to add an image a post grid and it just saves me time when i want to do something i don't have to do everything manually all right but as I mentioned, there's a lot of these blocks available. So this, that's the idea of the plugin to bring in more blocks. There's also a pop up that you can use right here. So let's just say that I have a page and I have everything ready and I want to bring inside a pop up because Black Friday is coming or Thanksgiving, etc. And I want to give, um, I don't know, a price or something like that. Right. So I can use one of these blocks that's available here. I'll use this one, for example. And this is a pop up. And yes, I can designate when it's going to pop up. If it's going to be on scroll, it's going to be on percentage, etc. all from here. So for example, that's going to be inside of triggers. I'll add group, select the group, and then I'll click add. And then I have all these available options to trigger the pop up, right? That means that if I wanted to pop up initially with, I mean, as soon as the page opens, which I definitely don't recommend, you can do so. I would recommend using delay scroll percentage, and there's all these available options. Okay. Check these out. Now, for example, delay, that means that it's going to pop up after X amount of minutes, hours, etc. when they are previewing the website or scroll. That means that if they're scrolling more than 50, 30 percent, then it's going to pop up. If not, it won't pop up. So I definitely recommend that you use these triggers for your pop up system, right? There's a wrap up options. You got your options. You got your styles here to change where it's positioned. You got your content that we're going to modify here. You got all of the available options there. The close options, if I want to change the icon for this, for example, I want to use that instead of an X, just for just for testing purposes. The animation style for the in and out, the close triggers, block variations. If, again, if I want to change it, replace it, or add another pop-up, do it from here, right? And there's several available pop-up options. You can load more from here. And the visibility, you can, again, add a group here. And just like you saw previously, I'm able to trigger this for different type of uses. For example, if they are only logged in. So if the user is logged in, it's going to pop up in that section. So based on the trigger and if they're logged in, it's going to pop up. If not, it won't. So it gives you several available options to use these pop up widgets. So you got a form maker, you got pop ups, you got a bunch of blocks available for your post, your WooCommerce and everything you're going to need for your WordPress pages and blogs. So right now you can grab this for a lifetime deal, which is pretty affordable. And I do recommend that you check it out. You buy it, test it out for yourself. And don't forget that there's a 60 day money back guarantee. So in case you don't like it, just go ahead and refund it. And that's a wrap.